Welcome to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast with Dat Boy Mo 629 Discussing everything fitness and everything motivation. Here is where you will get your fitness education and motivational fix. Now, here's your host, Dat Boy Mo 629 What's going on, everybody? It's that boy Mo629 coming to y'all with another edition of the Starter On It Finish It podcast. And I'd like to welcome y'all back. Thank you for tuning in. Today's episode, I want to talk about robbing yourself. And what this really means is you got to stop robbing yourself, right? A lot of you, vast majority of you listening to this right now, probably all three of y'all or two of y'all, whatever it is, you know, whatever the audience count is, it really doesn't make a big deal to me. As long as one person listens, that's all I care about. Um, But stop robbing yourself. And what I mean by that is we work for a company, we work for another person, we work for another entity where we give, albeit, you know, we get paid to do this, you know, whatever our salary is, whatever our hourly wage is, whatever our income is, we get paid to do this. Okay, that's fine. That's fair trade. That's what it is. You got to pay bills. You want to enjoy life. You got to uh, get shelter, food, clothing. So you have to work for someone else. However, everyone here, I've always been a firm belief, a firm believer that everyone in the world, everybody, if they apply their ability, they can work for themselves. Everyone can be their own entrepreneur. Everyone can be their own businessman or woman. Everyone can uh, provide their own source of income. We just choose not to. A lot of us are afraid. A lot of us don't believe in ourselves. A lot of us just don't have that, you know, that tenacity and that grit to actually do it and, you know, suffer for a few years. So the next few years you can live in prosperity. But... What I'm saying is, those who don't want to, per se, uh, work for themselves or go after the dream or go after a goal, individual goal, pursue a goal, and, uh, you know, invest in themselves, you are, and this is from me to you, excuse me, you are robbing yourself. You give eight hours to someone else. You get paid for those eight hours, but you don't give any to yourself. Now, if you're in a career that you went to school for, that was your goal, that was your dream, like if you're a veterinarian, if you're a lawyer, if this was your your dream growing up, if this is what you wanted to do, then fine, be it. But, once again, if you're a doctor... Why can't you have your own doctor's office? If you're a vet, if you're a veterinarian, why can't you have your own vet office? If you're a lawyer, why can't you have your own law firm? If you're a chiropractor, why can't you have your own chiropractic uh, office? Why? So, and this is what I'm really, I'm really, I'm really getting into. I'm just like you stop robbing yourself because at the end of the day, and this is what I'm just going to say right here: we all have. Something in us that can require, that can be beneficial to 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 getting most of the profit, number one, because it's our work, it's my work, your work, whatever, and get most of the profit, if not all of the profit, because you got to pay people. If you own something, you got to pay, you got to pay employees, you got to pay promoters, you got to pay for marketing, you got to pay for graphic design, you got to pay for all that stuff. Okay, that's fine and dandy. However... But, once again, but, that's always a but. Um, why not own your own stuff? Why not be your own boss? Right? A lot of people say, oh, I'm a real estate mogul, da 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 I'm in real estate. But you work for a real estate company. Why not create your own real estate company and make more money? Right? You're a doctor. Why not uh, start your own practice? Right. You're a lawyer. Why not start your own practice? If you're a veterinarian, once again, why not start your own stuff? You know what I'm saying? Personal training, personal trainer. Why not start your own gym? Why why work in another gym when you can make Boku money owning your own gym, setting your own prices and setting your own hours? Why not? 
You can be your own person. You can be on your, your own boss. You're robbing yourself. And this is where I really want to get into this right here. I don't really want to make this too long of a, a, a podcast today. But what I was saying before is, is we give a company, right? As people, we give a company uh, hours of our day. We're only up about maybe 16, 17 hours a day. And then that's seven hours of sleep if you're lucky. So if you work 16 hour days, you're only up for another hour or two where you're going to bed. So you're giving 16 hours to someone else and you're really giving nothing to yourself. If you work eight hours a day, you work eight hours a day. Let's just say you up 17 hours a day. So you work eight hours a day. Now you got nine hours. Why not give yourself four to invest in you so you can potentially not need those eight hours and you can get more hours for yourself. You see what I'm saying? We only live one life, people. And one thing that I know that we live one life, and this, this, this is not for everybody. This is not for everybody. A lot of people like to conform, and I'm not slighting anyone that likes to do that or wants to do that or that's their preference or whatever. This is for the people who feel that they have more to offer the world and their life than what they're currently doing now. All right? So that's who this is directed toward to. So if you're not, this isn't down your alley. This isn't something that you want to do. This isn't something you thought of doing, you, you need to do, or some kind of burning desire. That you, there's more you need out of life. You know what? Fine. Bypass it. Bypass this podcast. Turn it off. And go on by your merry little, little day. Go on by your merry little way. And continue living life. But this is for the people that feel that there's more to life than they have to offer and i and i like to tell you guys to stop robbing yourself you're robbing yourself you are you are limiting yourself by not investing in you spend a few hours a day i don't care if it's two i don't care if it's one hour a day if you spend one hour a day that's seven hours a week more than you spent before On something personal to you A personal goal A personal You want to start a business You want to do that Alright That's 7 extra hours a week Multiply that by 4 to 28 hours a a, a month really That's 4 weeks in a month Or 4 and a half You got 30 hours Pretty much a month That you dedicated to yourself If you put 2 hours a day That's 60 hours 3 hours a day That's 90 hours a month Four hours a day. That's 120 hours a month invested in yourself that you can do. So if you invest four hours, if you work eight hours shift and you invest four hours a day on your craft, on your goal, on something that you want to do with your life that can fulfill your life and help you achieve a burning desire, why not do it? Why not? I'm going to do a calculation here. So I said 120 hours a month, 120 hours a month, multiply that by 12, multiply that by 12 months in a year. That's 1,440 hours. How many days did that translate to? That's 180 days worth of investing in yourself. That's six months out the year you've invested in yourself compared to nothing. That you invested in someone else. Imagine what you can do with that. With six months worth of time. If you do four hours a day. Six months worth of time invested in you. Your goal. Your dream. Add content. Add just material out there for people to absorb and take in. Right? All you need is a year. Everybody say new year, new me. Why not? If you did that this past year in 2019, you would have invested six months of time into yourself, into your goal, into your dream. You don't know where you would have been right now. You just don't know. But that's something I need you all to think about that's listening to this podcast right here. Invest in you. What, what do you like to do? What do you like to do? What do you love to do? What can't you see yourself not doing? Invest in something Uh. Related to that, if you like, let's just say if you like Fortnite, I'm not a big video gamer, but if you like Fortnite, okay, you know, you like video game, okay, do something that'll help you uh, be in the video game industry. 
that is fun for you that you can make money doing. Maybe a tutorial, maybe a, I don't know, ebook, something, just something that you can make money out of. You just don't know that you can use that as a source of income and have fun doing it. Not be complaining about your boss, not be complaining about your coworkers, not com- be complaining about Mondays, happy hump day. We're almost over the hump. Thank God it's Friday. Six months worth of time throughout the year if you invest four hours a day on your craft, on you. And you can change a life. You can be riding in first class, no problem. I don't want to pay first class flights. You just never know. The money you get from that, you just never know. First class be easy. Maybe they'll be paying for you to go visit them to play these video games or to be a guest host or be a guest speaker. You just never know what can come out. And the the sky's the limit on your salary. The sky's the limit on your income, period. Because once you set, and I'm, I'm a victim of this. I'm in this right now, but I invested myself. So I'm no better than the next man. So let's get that out the way. I'm no better than the next man. But once again, there's another but. When you put a limit on your income, they put a limit on your income. No higher. It can't go no higher because they put a limit on your income until they decide to give you a raise. They decide to give you more money. Think about that. So invest four hours a day. If you work eight hour days, invest four hours in yourself. Whether it's two hours before you go to work, two hours after you go to work, or one hour before you go to work, or three hours after you get out of work, or three hours before you go to work, or one hour after you get off work, whatever. Invest four hours a day, seven days a week. You have more time if you own your off days and see what can happen within a year. Odds are, if you do it correctly, if you do the research, if you do, if you follow a plan, you will be in a different position in one year's time. And then the momentum, the ball will be rolling. And then the following year, Right. When you've invested a total of one year and two years on your life, in your life, and investing yourself, you will be further along in your life and achieving what you want to do and pursue than you were the previous two years when you didn't invest no time. Two years can be all you need. One year can be all you need. Hell. Right. If you do it right. So. Think about that, and thank you for listening to this podcast. Once again, like I always say, that boy Mo six two nine represent H one Warrior, and always start it, own it, finish it. You've been listening to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast. Be sure to subscribe to receive new episodes. Link up with Dat Boy Mo 629 on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Or visit him at ace1warrior.com. Until next time, start it, own it, finish it. Mm-hmm.